the Hilda and J. Lester Gabrilov Division of Endocrinology, Diabetes, and Bone Disease has a number of strengths. We're an outstanding research division in diabetes and endocrine disorders, and we're also one of the largest divisions of endocrinology and diabetes in the country because the Mount Sinai Health System is one of the largest health systems in the United States. As such, we deliver care to a huge number of patients in the New York area. This isn't the first study of its kind overall, but it is the first study of its kind in the United States, as well as the first study that's ever been funded by the National Institute of Health. What it is, is looking at the use of artificial pancreas, otherwise known as closed loop systems, in the management of patients with type 1 diabetes during pregnancy. This is a very unique opportunity and a very great potential clinical tool that we envision as great opportunity to provide care for patients in the future. What we know currently about artificial pancreas systems or closed loop technology is, is that it provides for patients the ability to increase their time and blood sugar target range, reduce the risk of hypoglycemia, as well as improve their quality of life. What we do not know at this point, though, is the benefits of these systems for patients who are in the most challenging time in diabetes care, which is during pregnancy. There have been no studies looking at the U.S. population, and additionally, there have been no systems specifically designed solely for the use or to work specifically under the scenario of pregnancy. What I can tell you is, is that not every week is the same. One week there may be certain insulin requirements, the next week glucose levels may be dropping precipitously, and then three or four weeks later insulin requirements will dramatically increase. We really require glucose management systems that can fully accommodate these hormonal changes that occur throughout pregnancy, requiring a much more aggressive change in glucose and insulin delivery requirements. The reason that we're interested in beta cell regeneration is that everybody with diabetes has inadequate numbers of fully functional beta cells. So in the United States, that's 30 million people. Globally, it's 420 million people. Our interest is in trying to make the remaining beta cells in people with all kinds of diabetes replicate, expand, grow, and replace the lost function that they have. The function of beta cells is to make insulin. Everybody with diabetes uh, needs more insulin and they need it to be secreted in the right amounts at the right time. The big picture is that all 420 million people in the world with diabetes need more beta cells and yet despite all the drugs on the market for treating diabetes, none of them work to increase beta cell numbers or beta cell mass. So our goal is to create drugs that are able to make beta cells regenerate, replicate, expand, and replace the lost insulin secretion that happens in people with diabetes. In 2015, we discovered the first class of drugs that's able to make human beta cells regenerate. Just this past year, we found new classes of beta cell regenerative drugs that partner with the previously discovered classes of drugs and so we can make beta cells regenerate even more quickly now. There's a very fluid interchange between our basic science departments, our scientists who are sort of working on the interface, and then really taking it to the clinic and bringing insights from the clinic back to the lab to ask questions. And this is really exemplified by our research in diabetes, where we have Dr. Andrew Stewart's group working on ways to regenerate pancreatic beta cells. And this therapy, if it comes to fruition, will be applicable not only to patients with type 1 diabetes, but also to patients with type 2 diabetes. And then we have scientists like Dr. Carol Levy, who are taking very practical approaches with new technology to use the artificial pancreas to help our patients with type 1 diabetes. What we care about most is the lives of our patients. So our basic scientists uh, care deeply about coming up with new treatments uh, for patients with diabetes. And our physicians that take care of patients with diabetes are motivated to come up with better treatments. And diabetes is a complex disease. So you have to take care 
of the whole person. You have to know about their lives and how diabetes is affecting their lives. You have to deal with the patient's uh, family so they can help the patient with diabetes. That's what makes Mount Sinai special. We're like a family and we care about the family of our patients and the patients themselves to improve their life.